All right. How's it going, everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes, and today is, uh, today is uh, May the nineteenth, two thousand and twenty-one. And today we're going to be uh, doing lecture two on on the uh, in endocrinology, which is the study of insects. And today we're going to be take, taking a look at the order of rock climber, uh, sorry, rock climber, uh, rock crawlers to the order of bugs. And so I hope that you guys have your popcorns and notes with you. This is going to be a pretty good, pretty good uh, lecture. So the order of rock climbers, uh, sorry, rock crawlers, which I forgot the rock part. It has one fam has one family and has thirty species. Uh, they are first discovered in the Canadian Rockies in nineteen thirteen, which is a fun fact. They are a small wingless insects that are adapted to cold cli uh, go sorry cold conditions or cold uh, climates. And you can find this in lime, limestone rocks and decaying wood. And this is what it looks like. Uh, these uh, rock crawlers are very small. And uh, they almost look like termites, but they're not. So, see here that it's crawling in a ice or a uh, ice covered uh, rock there. Next is the family of earwigs. You know those insects that has those pinchers in the back? Yeah. So they have 11 families and it has 1,900 species. Uh, the, the family of common earwigs has 450 species and it, found it, uh, and it will be found worldwide. And you can find it in leaf litters, in soils, and under bark. And uh, I remember back in Virginia, I saw a lot of earwigs uh, under barks. And they're, they're interesting because they have pincers in their back. And every time I touch it with a stick, they react to it of some sort. So these are earwigs. So you see they got these two pincers in the back. And uh, they, oops, I don't know why I did that. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? All right. So you see here that it is very different. That's antenna, has six legs. And yeah, that's that, that what the earwig looks like. All right, next is the order of stick and leaf insects. These are the most heavily camouflaged insects in the animal kingdom. Uh, there are three families, and it has 2,500 species. And the family of stick insects, they have uh, 200. Uh, sorry, 2,450 species. Mainly you can find this in warmer regions among vegetation or forage in trees and shrubs. Uh, family of leaf, sorry, not lead, leaf in insects has 30 species, only found in, uh, in these countries, Southeast Asia, Australasian, but on well vegetated areas and this is a uh, leaf insect on the right on the left side look how big it is <clears throat> this, these are perfectly camouflaged insects and look at the leaf insect on the right and you can see how it's very, very camouflaged you can you know, it's kind of hard to see it if you have a pretty good eye. But it, it, it's really, 
is a pretty interesting animal that God has created. Amen. All right. The Order of Mantis. <clears throat> it has 2,300 species with two families. The first family is the, this, the, uh, the flower mantis family. It has 290 species in tropical regions all around the world except Australia. And another family is the common praying mantis, which has a thousand one hundred one species. You can find this all around the world in any vegetation ve vegetation areas. You, you, you'll be lucky to find one. And sometimes they they will fly to buildings, and you can see them climbing or. Or walk in the uh, sidewalks if you, if you look it right. So the one on the left is the flower, uh, the flower mantis. Now these mantises loves to hide in flowers. Doesn't matter what color it is, they love to hang out there. And because of that, you know, during you know, over time, God created. These flower mantises that looks like flower and camouflage like flowers, and this is a great way to hunt down other insects. Remember, mantises are insectivores; they love to eat insects, especially when it comes to the praying mantis on your right and the female. Sorry, the male will mate the female. Once the female, uh, if, I'm sorry, if the male is done with the female, the the the, the female mantis starts to eat the male. Yeah, that sounds crazy, but it's actually two, and they lay. Uh, eggs on these uh, almost almost like these uh, cocoon like like egg sacs and uh, all these little baby mantises appeared so yeah that's that's, that's what happened next is the order of cockroaches now cockroaches are pretty interesting and and I uh, sad to say we do have a little bit of a cockroach in, uh, infestation in my house but it's a great way to be very observant so the the, the order of cockroaches has nine families which I spelled families wrong again I should spell check and it has 4,600 species. The first is the family of live bearing cockroaches. Has 1,189 species. You can find this in tropical uh, tropical regions. You can find this in caves and in underground. The next is the family of uh, uh, bellatids. Uh, has 2,240 uh, species. Found worldwide in warmer areas, and you can find it in wood litter, debris, garbage, dumps, uh, buildings. And, le and uh, the last family is the, the family of common cockroaches, which has 6,500, sorry, not 6,000, 652 species. Mostly in tropical and subtropical regions, you can find it in warehouses, so, uh, sewage, uh, garbage dumps, you name it. And these what in these is what it looks like. The left is the you know you see these cockroaches in your house. You can see it. it you know it gets pretty big. In the picture on the right. That is the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. These cockroaches really does hiss loudly if you if you press it um, in their abdomen of some sort. 
and they will hiss. That's what they call a hissing cockroach. Next is the order of termites. Now we know what termite is. Uh, termites has seven families. It has 2,900 species. The first species is the, uh, the, the species of subterranean uh, termites, which has 360 species. Uh, you can find this worldwide in warmer regions. You can find this in soil or in or in damp wood. Uh, the next is the higher termite, which has 2,021 species. And you can find this worldwide, and you can find this in trees, soil, and underground. And that's what the termite looks like, if you don't know what termite looks like. So, the, now all termites are blind. Because what they do is that now they they're not really close, really sociable than ants, but termites has a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, birthing rate because the queen uh, lays a lot of eggs. I don't know how many. I'm not an ex I'm not that closely an expert of termites. Which I may do a detailed study of termites and see what they do, but uh, those uh, those those uh, termites that have mandibles, I believe that uh, these are soldier soldier termites to defend the nest from from any evasion. And so uh, I think termites and ants has. Not really a similar social behaviors, but man, they reproduce like crazy, and they eat a lot of wood. That's why pest controls personnel knows how to treat termites and how to exterminate them from houses who have wood uh, in having wood basically. And so, how many termites can be a bad thing? Next is the order of wet spinners. Has 11 families, 400 species. The family of Clophodus has 15 species. You can find this worldwide in tropical and subtropical regions. And find in... Uh, and soils and leaf litters, under bark, under stones. I don't know why it's with lead. Don't, don't ask me why. So, next we have the order of angel insects, which are pretty interesting. Uh, has one family and it has uh, 43 species. Uh, the family of uh, angel insects. You can find this worldwide in tropical and warm you know, temperatures, except for Australia. You can find this in decaying wood or dust saw. Next, we have the uh, the parasitic lice. I got, I got, I got to drink something. So, now, lice is a problem. If they have 24 families in 500, sorry, 5,200 species, the first family is the bird of, sorry, the first family is the bird lice, which has 1,000, 1,153 species. You can find this worldwide, but because they are an outward parasite insect. So you can find this on various bird hosts. That's why they call it parasitic lice. Next family is the family of human lice, which has seven species. 
and fungus and you know worldwide on humans, apes, and monkeys. Now, matter of fact, we're not apes or we're not monkeys. We're sorry, it's from it's from monkeys, but of monkey. So so you know that you know. I know I know my spelling not very good, but you know. I need, I need to get this done. But anyway, um, so yes, human lice is a problem, which leads to a family of public lice, which has two uh, species worldwide, wherever the host lives. Yes, lice is a very bad, bad, uh, they, they, they really reproduce quickly. And if you caught, Having lice in your hair, that you'll be removed from school so that you can use the parasitic lice treatment to get rid of lice. Next, we have the order of bark lice and book lice. It has one, uh, 41 families and it has 5,600 5, species. The first family of uh, is the uh, the book lice, which has 250 species. You can find this worldwide in dry leaf litter. You can find this under barks and sometimes food storages. Here we are off to the fun part. This is the last section of this lecture. The order of bugs. It has 134 families, has 88,000 different species. Mind you, not all of them are the same. And those other insects that you see, these are not bugs because they do not qualify. Uh, according to the uh, zoology uh, or the insect person who does this, uh, who does this um, uh, classification of, of insects. So first we got the family of white flies has a thousand two hundred species. We have the family of frog hoppers, which has 2,400 species. Next, we have the family of leaf hoppers, which has 16,000 species. Next, we have the family of common uh, of hides, 2, 20, 2,250 species. We have the uh, the family of giant water bugs, which which is a pretty predatorial uh, bugs. Has one hundred fifty species. Now we have the family of cicadas. Has two thousand five hundred species. I remember back in Virginia. The cicadas came out of nowhere. I don't know where they came from, but they were a lot. They were crawling in our shirts with their sharp, uh, with their sharp uh, feet to grab onto us, and they make a lot of noise. I think we all do for another cicada invasion, probably. Probably either next year or three years from now, but it's gonna be coming. There's, there's gonna be a lot of cicadas around uh, in the United States because they mostly are underground, and after 14 years, they or 16 years or 17 years, they come up again. So, yeah, fun fact. Next, we have the family of big bugs. Bed bugs has 90 species. I remember, I think it was probably 
seven years ago. It had uh, I had a pretty mild bed bug infestation. Yeah, man, I gotta spray this. This not really a chemical. It's just more like a home remedy to get rid of bed bugs and to kill them and all that stuff. It's it's it's, it's gruesome. Next, we got the family of uh, scale insects. It has seven thousand species. Next, we have the uh, the family of Foco this has 800 species. The family of Podoskip, uh, sorry, Podoskaters, which have 500 species. We have the family of Water Measure, measure uh, Water Measurers, which has 120 species. Next, we have the uh, Tree Hoppers, 2,500 species. Next, we have the plant bugs, 8,000 species. Next, we got the uh, back swimmers, the family of back swimmers, 350 species. The family of stink bug, 550, sorry, 5,500 5, species. Next, we got the, uh, the jumping plant lice, 1,500 species. The family of assassin bugs, 6,000 species. And last but not least, I made a top on that too. The family of lice bugs, 2,000 species. So that's it, y'all. So I hope you guys are doing great and all. I hope you guys have, you know, I know I made a lot of errors. So it's just just stick with me here. And um, you know, I love studying animals, uh, especially as a hobby. And I love how God created all these bugs for their purpose. We see that the praying mantis eats other insects, which also help the ecosystem as well. See, bugs play a huge role in the in the ecosystem, uh, and especially the food chain. If you if you look if you look at it that way. So that they're not overpopulated, but these you know, prey and predators have their own function, has their own role in this world. And you know, I believe Adam named all the insects of this world uh, back in Genesis one. You see all the mantis and the uh, bed bugs. Uh, all these things and uh, naming them, having dominion over them, that's amazing. To me, if they touch a, I think the assassin bug, these bugs can bite you and give you a pretty bad disease. I can't name it top of my head, but these bugs will give you a nasty disease. So might, might, might as well add to um, mosquitoes as well. Mosquitoes, lice, bed bugs has a pretty bad rap when it comes to you know, biting people. Give them awful diseases. Especially ticks. But yet, Adam had dominion at, at one point until all these bugs are scared of us now. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you guys have a great weekend and all. I hope that this is a blessing to you of some sort. 
And yeah, so may God bless you. I'll see you guys again next time.